Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome to a history lesson with Thoughtless Harvey, which is me, if you didn't know. I live in southern Sweden, which this part is called Skåne, or Skåne, depending on if you're Swedish or not. And we have a very difficult relationship with both the Danish, which is just across the ocean, and the rest of our own country. <laughs> that is mainly b because Skåne has been both Swedish and Danish, and we flipped over so many times. <laughs> it was kind of annoying. This was a long time ago, though. So, <laughs> it's not, like, recent. Um, however, we've been Swedish since the 17th century. So, with this information in the back of our mind, there is, well, we have reasons to have fortifications in the major cities around the ocean. In Landskrona, we have Citadelet. I don't know the others because I have not researched them. So, uh, Citadelet was built around the middle of the 16th century and has seen a lot of conflict, but also a very drunk moose who belonged to the very famous astronomer Tycho Brahe. This is actually a true story. <laughs> it got so drunk that it fell down some stairs and broke one of its legs. In the beginning of the 18th century, 60 Polish and Russian prisoners were held at Citadelet, and in 1827 it was no longer used as a fortification, but a prison that held people with life sentences. This wasn't made official until 1869. 1872, Karl Otto Andersson, a very, very Swedish name, was executed for the murder of a prison guard, and he was the last one to be executed in Landskrona. In the beginning of 20th century, the prison was transformed into a forced labor institute for women. And this is where our next story begins. Hilda Nilsson lived in Helsingborg with her husband and due to economical problems, decided to accept foster children in 1915. During this time, children born outside wedlock brought shame and were often given away for a payment to the foster parent. The first child that lost their life in Hilda's care was a five-month-old that kept Hilda up at night. This led Hilda placing the child face down in a tub of cold water with a washboard on top with a scuttle as weight. Hilda hid the child in a closet and later burned the body in the coal oven. She told her husband that a nice couple adopted the child. During two years, seven other children were killed in the hands of Hilda and she wasn't discovered until one of the mothers were told that Hilda and her husband were moving and that the mother's son were going to the care of Hilda's sister on the other side of the country. The mother was told that her son lost her life there, but Hilda wouldn't tell her where the child was buried or the address of the last foster home. The police were called in and Hilda was charged with a life sentence and sent to Citadelet. 10th of August 1917, she took her own life and herself. Hilda is now known as the most known angel maker in Sweden. Thank you so much for watching or listening to this history lesson. If you like what you've seen in this video or others, I ha I'm doing a video every day for Spooktober, so don't miss it out. Um, you know, like, comment, and subscribe, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.